Those rain clouds come across Trinidad and Tobago, and still further rain is expected overnight. So we still have that adverse weather alert, which will remain in effect as you go into Thursday. It won't likely end until that Thursday 2 p.m., says the Meteorological Service. And therefore, for both Trinidad as well as Tobago, possibility of a street or flash flooding, landslides or landslips, as well as a gusty winds up to 65 kilometers per hour. Obviously, we did see some interruptions in terms of the cricket in a port of Spain and the rain gauge right now across uh, Piaco is now at 188 millimeters, still short of the 264 that we expect for the month of August. But as you can see here, we've had deficits since uh, June and July from the beginning of the wet season and we definitely need more rainfall. And we'll likely see that as we go overnight in Tobago. Possibility of uh, some showers that could turn heavy or thundery. There's a medium chance of that happening, 60%. As you go into Thursday morning, some of those showers will likely persist. But once we get past the midday, you'll notice general cloudiness around with fewer showery interruptions expected towards the end of a Thursday. So for eastern areas of Trinidad through Valencia into Beach, possibility of some heavy showers as you go through the day, especially uh, through the northern range as you get towards Amarava and Diego Martin, still the possibility of some thunder showers here. But you should begin to see some clearing of the rain as you get towards the latter half of the day. So similarly, looking for those heavy bursts in southern areas of Trinidad, Rio Claro into Point Fortin and Final, eventually clearing towards San Fernando through the afternoon. And you should see a gradual improvement as you get towards late Thursday into the evening. So tonight, we'll likely still feel mild at times, 25 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 27 likely at Crown Point, and are still seeing a comfortable day tomorrow, no higher than 32 across Trinidad and Tobago. Now offshore, those are strong gusty winds will continue from the east at 20 knots, keeping a moderate chop through the Caribbean, but you could be seeing 2.5 meter wind waves out there in the Atlantic. We also have that full moon, so you notice those tides higher than normal. So. Friday and Saturday, still a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, still unstable for the most part through Friday and Saturday. So we can't rule out the possibility of some showers that could turn thundery on Saturday, but overall continue to see some of that rainfall into the weekend. Now the Greater Antilles has been under pretty much a fair weather, tranquil skies for the most part. And that also means that the breeze is up for Kingston, 34 degrees Celsius, a gusty 35 likely in Port of France. But at least those winds will offer some cooling relief. Also quite breezy across the rest of the Eastern Caribbean, but there will be some Saharan dust around. So hazy for the most part through Barbados, St. Vincent, down towards Grenada, they will pick up some of those showers that will be affecting Trinidad and Tobago, and then down towards Georgetown, showery spells and a high of 31 degrees Celsius. But for us here, those early morning thunder showers are still expected, with obviously the adverse weather alert continuing into Thursday afternoon. So that's your weather, and that's it for me.